through scripture. The first way to release the anointing is through scripture. Because studying the scripture, Jesus was speaking in John chapter chapter 15, verse 7. He said, If you abide in me, if you abide in, if you abide in the word and the word in you, he said, then you shall ask the Father of anything, then he shall do it. What it simply means is that when you assess the word of God to a level, then through the virtue of the word, you can ask the Father of anything, and then the Father can deliver it to you. It means abiding, keeping the word of God. So through scripture the first way to release the anointing is through scripture because consistently studying the word of god will give you light and by virtue of light your light is what transforms the world so if you are studying the scripture consistently you will get light and by virtue of light that you access it's your light will change the world you understand he said he sent forth a word to jacob and the word light upon is what it means is that every word has a way of transforming you Every word has a way of transforming a nation in you. So by the consistent studying of the word, you have a new word or a new, there is a transformation. And that transformation, the anointing is stirred by scripture. So what fuels the, the reality of God, what fuels the spirit is through the word. So God is moved by his word. I work together. So the Bible speaking, it said the, the spirit was moving upon the surface of the deep. Then God said, so God is moved. Hope you know the heavens and the earth were created by the power of the word of God. So the word, it takes the word of God to navigate in the earth that was created with words. So by virtue of word, you can release the word. So words are powerful. Words are creative. Reality are created through words. So the anointing is being released by virtue of words all together. So how you attain or how you get the word by is by virtue of reading the word of God. So the first way or the first key to release the anointing is through the word of God. And number two, the second way to release the anointing is through praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, my dear beloved, building up yourself in the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So the way, the next way to release the anointing is praying in the Holy Ghost. Now the Holy Spirit, so it started with the Word, then the Spirit. So the Word mixed with the Spirit is what fuels the anointing. Are you seeing it? So the first way is what the Word of God. The next key then is called the Spirit. So you have the Word. Then you are using your, the word back up with praying in the Holy Ghost can easily release the anointing. So the word plus the spirit is what releases the anointing. All together now. So the third thing that releases the anointing is called faith. So the word, the word, the spirit and faith join together now that releases the anointing. 